Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's Theoni with Thrifty Divas, and I am here with my favorite thing ever, that and thrift stores. It's a toss up. I have a haul from a privately owned dollar store. Now I always preempt these hauls by saying not to be confused with a Dollar Tree or any chain store. This is a privately owned dollar store not affiliated with any chains and if you're local to me this happens to be one of my favorites solo 99 on wheeler road in central islip so i hadn't been in about almost eight months i think so it was a big deal my mom took my son for a little bit and i was like i think i'm gonna take a drive out there and i loved it so let's jump in the first thing i'm gonna show you are things that i had to drop off at for my mom when I went to pick up my son. So I'll go ahead and put them in a separate little clip here and then we'll get started with what's in front of me. I got these three counts of scented vacuum bags, Hoover Z that they fit. I got two packs at 99 cents each. Then I got this 22 of 11 by 14 finger paint paper sheets. I've gotten this before. They only had one left this time. And it's open, but that's fine. And it's only 39 cents. And I picked up two boxes of Kraft Shake and Bake Original that my mom needed for 99 cents each. All right, so now continuing on with what's in front of me. So the thing with Solo 99, if you are local, um, everything is 99 cents unless it's priced. So if something doesn't have a price on it, it's 99 cents. If it has a price on it, it's that price. So... <clears throat> I bought a lot of stuff. Okay, let's just jump right in. I'm so excited. I found some really cool stuff. And I was a little disappointed because prices did go up. But what are you going to do? So one of the things I picked up, I love these things. They are these six extra large gift bags. These are smaller than basket bags. And I find I need them for so many like gift packages because they are the perfect size. They used to be 99 cents, but now they up them to $1.59. And I was like... Oh, well, I can't find them anywhere else. We don't have 99 cent only stores and we have very few privately owned dollar stores. So I bit the bullet and I did it. Okay. Next, they marked these all down, I guess, to get rid of some of their inventory. So from 99, oh no, actually they were $1.49 originally. You can see the sticker underneath, but they marked all these down to 59 cents. So I was like, woo, wasn't in the market for them, but hey. <clears throat> so I got two pairs of these. These are queen size, which is awesome. And these are textured pantyhose. You see the little polka dots on them? So they're black with little polka dots on them. So I got two pairs of those for 59 cents each. Then I thought these were so fun, and this is a one size fits all. So I don't know if they mean me in the all, but I usually wear bicycle shorts like over my pantyhose and stockings and stuff and I can usually fit into ones that are a little too small for me that way but look at this look at this buffalo check this is crazy so 59 cents I grabbed those then I got um, a pair a queen size pair of tan for 59 cents and a queen size pair of suntan for 59 cents as well and another pair of tan because I'm assuming they're going to be one-time use things, you know, they'll probably run at the end of the day. So, all right, so that is that. Okay, then I found this, this double size pack. So it's 100% more free. You get four ounces instead of two of this Loctite Fun Tack. I've been looking for the name brand Loctite Fun Tack at Dollar Tree because some people showed it. It never came here. So I was happy to find this for 99 cents then they had this which I've gotten before so I was happy to see they actually still had some from eight months ago this is from Dollar General DG everyday stain be gone and it's a two pack of these stain remover pens and they're really good and it's 99 cents for two of them so I got that too um, all right let me pull this chair over because I got some stuff here garbage truck right on time 
All right, then I picked up two packs of these. These are 10 by 13 white catalog envelopes. And it is a six count. And I really liked the white. So 99 cents each, I got those. Then let me show you something crazy I got. Now I know these are like kind of obsolete and I looked them up on Amazon and they're like nine and $10 each. This happens to be a five pack, which I saw on Amazon for like $30 or something crazy. But this is by ACO, A-C-C-O, I don't know. I know it's a, that's a brand though, I see it all the time, I just don't know how to pronounce it. So these are printout binders nine and a half by 11 five pack now i know this is for dot matrix printouts but i thought maybe i can rig something up i'll play around with them see if i can rig something up i thought maybe for thicker closing packets if i do a more involved closing or a corporate closing or something like that just to have so i just bought one pack and it was 2.99 for the five pack apparently that's a crazy good price, but we'll see if I can rig something up for regular paper with that. Um, all right, moving on. I found this book of Justice League stickers that I will be sending to Patty's son, William, for fun. It, it says over 200 stickers. So there's a lot of cool ones in there. You've got all the major players. And I just thought I would throw that into their next package for William. Okay. Another thing I picked up was for my son. My son has a huge chalkboard in his room. And um, I have a hard time finding actual chalkboard erasers. It's usually whiteboard erasers I find, and I've used them on his chalkboard, and they just don't hold chalk dust. It falls all over the place. So this is a felt chalkboard eraser. So I got that for my son's room for his chalkboard. 99 cents. Another thing I picked up to actually... I was supposed to give this to my mom. I forgot. Um, they had this... 24 count of extra heavy weight forks 99 cents my mom's always having us over and stuff so like for appetizers or whatever i just like for her to have that one less thing to wash another thing i picked up was this small bottle of florida water they had actually different scents and they had ones with sprayers and they had big bottles they had all different stuff and all different prices but this little one was just 99 cents i had ordered one from holler i think was slightly when holler existed that was slightly bigger than this and it all leaked out when it wasn't even opened but i have like this much left and never opened it so that stinks but this is a very um high alcohol thing product so back in the day they put this on you like on a washcloth or something if you have a fever to break the fever because it's like cooling and um, this can also be used as a type of sanitizer because of the high alcohol content so I just like to always have a bottle of it around so I needed another one since mine went kapooey to the wind another thing I picked up this is going to be for the a Christmas giveaway this is Scotch Restickable Shapes for Mounting. So you can mount things with them. They're in these little Christmas shapes. You get 18 pieces and it, they hold up to three quarters of a pound and it says reuse again and again, removes cleanly. So I thought they had them in green too. I couldn't decide, but I don't know, I got red and I thought that was just a super cool thing to add to the Christmas giveaway and it was only 99 cents. I feel like that would be a lot more in the store. Then I picked this up to throw into friend mail. I thought this was awesome. So this is gift box erasers in the sweets variety. So it's all little beautiful pastries and you got four of them and it's in this really beautiful box. Looks like a, like a pastry shop almost with a bow. So I got that for friend mail. Another thing I saw hanging there and I said, oh, this looks interesting 
whether it be for the floor, it says for wood flooring and wood furniture, these are wood filler sticks. So they're not just the markers like for color, these are actually like wax sticks to fix scratches and things like that. Scratches and dings and it comes in all different colors for you. So I thought that was cool. So I got that just to have. Then I haven't seen these in a store in a while and I still have some from years ago when I found them. Um, but this is the Tide Bar. And this is a big bar. This is bigger than the ones I had found years ago. Oh my God, it smells so good. 99 cents. I love this for hand washing, for getting a quick stain out for whatever it may be or something that you just don't want to throw in the wash like any stuff if it's hairy or stinky or whatever. Absolutely love these. So I was kind of overly excited to find that. Then let's move away for a second from... Um, 99 cent items again i found this i thought this was really awesome i would have gotten one for me too maybe next time but i thought this would just be really cool to have and i'm going to give it to my mom for christmas i think i should have gotten one for myself though i'm more likely to do it but look at this this is a 12 count of glass paints so i think they're like you know semi-transparent and you can create you could do like puffy paint and then, you know, make, make a, a stained glass looking thing. I think it's so awesome. I'm very excited about that. And you get all of those different colors in there. And this was $2.29. So I, I thought that was really awesome and unique. Then I got two of these, one for my son and one to send to somebody else's son. Um, this is Crayola Color Explosion metallic make surprising metallic colors appear create shimmering designs on black paper you get four neon markers and 16 metallic sheets it shows spiral bound here so i don't know but i thought that was pretty cool and it was a dollar 59 so totally fair i'm gonna save one of those for my son for christmas um okay <clears throat> then i got this uh, I would like to send it to Patty's son, but I feel like he wouldn't be interested in it because he's too old. So I might have to keep this for my son. But this is the the magic pen painting. So you get 24 pages and the one special pen that makes all the colors appear. These were only 99 cents. So I got this one and there and I got this one. Curious George. Yeah. It's pretty cool. 99 cents. Okay. Then I freaked out. Look at this. Look at what I found. Look at what I found for 99 cents. Oh my God. I should have gotten more. <laughs> I don't know. I don't need more, but I should have gotten more just to have them. Oh my gosh. Oh, I absolutely love this. I absolutely love this. I can't believe it. Oh, was this from Walmart? I think that might have been from Walmart. But yeah, 99 cents. Oh my gosh. I did not expect to see that. <clears throat> then, also for Patty's son, I picked this up. This Marvel Comics. It's a hard, semi-hard case. You could crush it if you try real hard. Um, so it's got the zipper that goes all the way around. So on this side, it's got this. And on this side, it says Marvel Comics. This was $2.99. But I still thought that was totally fair. And it's pretty cool. And I feel like he's going to love that. So I got that. Okay. Then I got a whole bunch of chocolates for 99 cents. I have a gift basket I need to make as a thank you to someone. And also, I wanted to save some for a candy dish in my office whenever that happens. Talk about putting the cart before the horse. Anyway, so they had only one of this I would have loved more because I want to keep this for myself and not give it in the thank you basket. But these are Godiva masterpieces. Uh, I don't even know. It looks like it has caramel in it. 
but they had this for 99 cents and then that was the only one of those but then they had tons of these and i only got one i think but this is um this is also godiva but these have these look like they're mint so i'll just put that in the thank you basket and then i got three of these these are giardelli minis milk chocolate with caramel filling i got three three of those and then they only had one of these as well unfortunately this is a cadbury dark chocolate with sea salt and caramel so it's cadbury royal dark only one of those and then tons of these so this is also cadbury royal dark but it's with creamy mint unfortunately all right all right so i got all of those then what else do i have in here okay then i got I have no idea if this is a good price. Again, I've never had to buy these things until now. But I got this for my grandfather's grave, I figured, for Father's Day and whatnot. So just to have it now instead of having to look for it. Um, and it was $4.99. But I thought that was nice. I also want to make one for Christmas. I have to get on that as well. Um, okay. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. What else we got? Oh, and then I bought this just for the bottle, pretty much. I love the bottle. So this has a price of $4.99 on it from wherever it was. But I paid $0.99. Cents, and it's this beautiful mason jar with a pump. I love it. Um, and it happens to be in Autumn Berries hand soap. And it's 16.9 fluid ounces. All right, then I couldn't believe this. I snatched up so many. Oh my God. Okay. They had these for 99 cents. Look. Look at this. Oh, wrong one. There you go. So it opens like that. Closes, opens. Oh my goodness. So I got one in clear for my mom. I gave it to her already. This one is for me. I got this one for my stepfather. I even told him <laughs> when I gave my mom her clear one, 99 cents. I said, I got you one too in a different color, but I'm going to wait for Christmas until you forget about it and he will so I got him the blue one since they live in the same house then I got a red one for my cousin for Christmas and I got a red one for Patty's son for Christmas how cool oh my gosh 99 cents I can't believe it I just can't okay then they had these for 99 cents and i'm putting one in the christmas giveaway and i just bought an extra one holy cow guys look at this so it says merry christmas kitchen palace it has so much stuff in here it's got all of these cutters it's got a stack of russian tips it's got a pastry bag a giant coupler it looks like this is like um a tri-color tip that you can do three colors at once i mean so you get a snowman a reindeer a candy and a stocking in this hard case that is crazy town <clears throat> so i got one for the christmas giveaway and one to gift to somebody Mm -hmm. 
another thing I picked up, <coughs> excuse me, another thing I picked up, which I thought is going to be really good for the bug out bag, and I probably should have gotten more, are these what a deal guys oh my gosh so this is market street classics it is u.s inspected and passed by the department of agriculture chunk chicken breast in water fully cooked fully cooked ready to serve 10 ounce bag it just says squeeze pouch pouch gently to break up the chicken tear or cut the pouch drain the excess juices and add chicken directly to your favorite salad, sandwich, or recipe. Refuse, re refrigerate unused portion in separate container after opening. But And the sodium is not crazy, crazy. It's 160 milligrams because in your bug out bag, and I still have to do the video, you don't want high sodium items. This is why beef jerky is not really that good. Slim Jims are not really that good. Salted nuts, things of that nature, because you got to keep your thirst level down. If you're in that situation, you don't want so... <clears throat> not bad 99 cents for 10 ounce bags of fully cooked chicken i need to go back and stock up on these these should be on your food stockpile at home like what oh my gosh so cool i gotta go back like today <laughs> okay uh moving on moving on let me just reach over here sorry I'll just pull this all over here so I have it. Pardon me, pardon me. Okay. All right, we're good. Okay. So this store also had tons of disinfectant sprays. They actually had the Dollar Tree disinfectant spray for $2.59. But they had tons of disinfectant sprays, Clorox wipes, packages of disinfecting wipes, alcohol wipes, all that stuff, sanitizers, and gloves and masks. Overpriced, but the gloves were fair really so i got two boxes i figured i would just try these powder free thank goodness vinyl gloves they had all different sizes so i did get the extra large because i was thinking of my husband and my stepfather as well because they try to put on other gloves and they can't even get them on so these are extra large 100 count 9.99 same thing as dollar tree right 10 for a dollar so this is 100 for 9.99 i got two boxes of those and then they also had <clears throat> good until March 2021. <laughs> Not a problem. Um, they had Maxwell House coffee for $1.99 each, which is that's like your supermarket circular savings, you know? So I was like, yeah, cool. So I got that to make sure I have that in times of running out. We don't run out of coffee in this house ever. So I got those. Then <clears throat> I got these two mirrored le mirrored numbers on stands for a certain somebody's birthday who's coming up in a month, a big one. So just to have this to put on their cake, I thought that was so awesome. I'm excited. Okay. Then I found these for my son. He's gonna freak. These are like the little wiki sticks and it's a whole pack of them. You get 30 for 99 cents. He's gonna love it. I'm so excited for him. <laughs> All right, we're getting down to the end here. Then they had this little artist's apron. My mom took the one that I had so that he could paint at her house. So I grabbed this one. This was $1.79. I feel like that's steep, but whatever. It's a nice thick apron, ties in the back. So I figured let him just have this here for what he does his arts and crafts here. So I got that. And the last two things. Okay, so I had this. Let me just tell you what happened. A couple months ago, we went to the beach. I bought this months ago and I couldn't remember where, okay? I had this in my bathroom. I'll show you what it is in a minute. And uh, at one, one time, a couple months ago, we went on a little family trip down to the beach right here, just walking around. We were not gone long at all. We were gone like an hour. Okay. I come home. Henny doesn't greet us. I'm like, that's not okay. I'm calling for her. I'm calling for her. I'm calling for her. She doesn't come. So I think the worst. I'm getting horrified. You know, anyway. I'm like, oh no. I run upstairs. 
she somehow, in the time that we were gone, mind you, she was there when we left. Like, she said goodbye to us when we left. She went into my upstairs bathroom, got herself locked in, and had a total nervous breakdown. The poor thing. Her anxiety was through the roof. She started chewing on everything. She clawed the door, trying to get out of the door. She chewed up all the mats, the, the bathroom mats that were in there. And she did it in, like, lightning fast amount of time. Okay. That's, that's, that's that. Okay. I don't, we don't make a habit of that. That's never happened before. So I go a couple weeks later to put up my brand new shower curtain that I never used before. And as I hang it up, I take it out of the package. I hang it up. She got to it too. She had chewed the corner of it on the shelf. So when I hung it up, there was periodic holes throughout the, and I was so upset. Now I paid $4.99 for it. That's it. And then I looked on Amazon. I couldn't even find the exact same thing, but anything similar was like $18, $22. So I couldn't remember where I got it. I told my mom, I said it was either from Solo 99 in Central Islip or a dollar store I stopped off at once in Queens when I took you guys to the airport. She's like, oh, I'm like, yeah. So I went yesterday. I looked. It was there. It went up a dollar though. So this was $5.99. It's a peekaboo shower curtain. So it's clear there and clear there and white vinyl in the middle. And I love it. I love it so much. So I got that. And then while I was in that section, this is the last item in this haul. They had this super heavy duty. This is $6.99. It's a heavyweight PVC vinyl reinforced header top 70 by 72 clear shower curtain in hotel gauge heavyweight. So I got that. I that's what I like. I like cuz my I find my shower beautiful upstairs, so I like things that show it either in pieces or its entirety. I love the stone in there. So, anyway. Yeah. So that's it. I spent $108. Oh well. Uh and yeah. But I I think I found some crazy stuff and I really do need to go back. I need to get more of this chicken. And I should probably just grab a shit ton of these water bottles if they have any left. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. All right. So that is it. And again, if you're local, cool. You know where to go and what to find. So that is going to do it for this video, guys. It's starting to drizzle on me already. So I will <clears throat> see you all next time. And until the next video, stay blessed, my friends. I love each and every one of you.